I want to make a quick review right now of uh, my Christmas present, which is the Bushnell Stealth View 5x42 Night Vision Monocular. Uh, it's a digital night vision monocular, and it was advertised both on OpticsPlanet.com, Amazon, some other places as being uh, equal to Gen 2 Plus. And I got it in a couple days after Christmas, and I've played with it three nights now, and I want to say that I'm very happy with it. Now, I will say that my military experience with night vision included Gen 1 and Gen 2. I have not been able to use Gen 3 much. Uh, when I was with the Air Force uh, as a civilian policeman, we had it, but I worked the day shift and never got to use it. So, um, so I can't really say uh, personally that it that it is right up there because I don't have access to compare the two side by side. But I'm very happy with it. Um, now, this stuff that's on it did not come with it. I've already made my own homemade, as you can probably tell, strapping for it. And the reason I did that, and one of my complaints, is it only has one hard point to affix to. so that it, And it's pretty heavy. It's like a binocular because it's got that large IR flashlight. So I went ahead and made a, uh, a, a strap that would hold a kind, of a kind of a bikini to hold on to it. The Stealth View comes with a next to useless um, manual, little lens cleaning cloth, this uh, adapter so that you can connect the Stealth View with a uh, video camera and record what you feel, you're, you're seeing. I did not, I do not have a video camera that will do that, so what I've had to do is actually stick my video camera into the the uh, eye viewer of the stealth view and film it that way and I've done that so that that you can see what I'm seeing or a pretty good uh, facsimile of. It also comes with this really crappy case which I am already in the process of uh, replacing. I hope to find uh, some sort of hard case that will fit it. If not that I'll uh, get a tactical case and pad it somehow. Let's go ahead now and look at some footage I shot last night and then compare it to uh, the same scene in the daytime and let you see what I see. What you're looking at is one of those round cement outdoor tables with benches. And going up above the table is a, an umbrella that is fold uh, is closed, and behind the umbrella you see the trees and the night sky. That's how it looks through the Bushnell Stealth View digital night vision monocular. Now, this is how it looks without. Um, can't see anything. Now, with my naked eye, I can see the difference between the sky and the ground in the tree line. I don't register that on the camera here, but I can see that. But I cannot make out the, um, the, the patio furniture, the cement patio furniture. And I'm only, I don't know, 30 feet from it. This is standing at pretty much the same place as I was uh, last night, looking through the nods. Um, of course, there's magnification with them, so it would look a little more close up through the nods, but uh, this is where I was standing. I'm really impressed with the IR spotlight. Um, <laughs> it's pretty powerful. I was thinking that I had an IR flashlight. Um, I have that uh, military flashlight with the IR setting. Turns out the IR setting is nothing but a uh, locator strobe and doesn't have any flashlight capability. So this is the flashlight I have. 
you don't use it unless you need to because it really sucks the battery but um, when you do use it it throws a beam and I was pretty impressed with it some quick details it does take double A batteries um, that was important to me it'll also take um, a 12 volt DC connector they don't come with it um, I need to get to Radio Shack or somewhere and find me one uh, just a good thing to have I think and that's pretty much all there is to it uh, it's pretty simple it focuses really well you do have to focus uh, you know quite a bit it's, it's just how it is um, like I said very happy with it but I want to say that I am very happy I got it off Amazon from Bushnell um, even though it's Bushnell which isn't it's not top quality anymore uh, most of their stuff is foreign I think this is Russian made um, I'm pretty happy it was three hundred and thirty seven dollars after shipping and everything taxes whatever so for three hundred and thirty seven dollars to get you know gen 2 level uh, digital night vision um, that's pretty good I think sure would you like to have the uh, PVS 14 you'd love to but since this is less than one-tenth the cost I would say this is a way to go for a lot of us who can't be sinking uh, thirty seven hundred dollars into our night vision well there you go there's my review thumbs up thanks